Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, Takedown Man, and I am back with another episode, one that is kind of long overdue, I know. But I did one like this a while back. Unfortunately, it got taken down because of the content, so we're going to make it a little cleaner, and you have to excuse the background noise. It is 2.30 in the morning, and somebody is shooting off bottle rockets somewhere, so is we're going to look over tour today, and I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks about it and whatnot. All right, so first off, in order to get Tor, you have to go to torproject.org. Do not go anywhere else to download it because you never know what they're attaching to it. Now, downloading Tor is easy. You just click that and it will give you a download and then it gives you options and so forth, like in English, what language and whatnot. The basic downloads. Now, Tor prevents people from learning your location or browsing habits. Tor is for web browsers, instant messaging clients, and more, Tor is free and open source for Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, and Android. So, we're going to go ahead and go down here to see who uses Tor and why. Right there and there. So, I know Tor originally was started for the military. It was made by the military. It was made by the military so that way they could send things encrypted and not get found and after a while then journalists started using it and different organizations started using it then everyday people started using it and this right here is some more projects from Tor you can also check those out and I will also be showing some of these off in the near future especially with things like Tails because everybody wants to know about Tails whenever you download Tors what you want to do you want to download Tor onto something like a flash drive, a thumb drive, or whatever. Something that is not going to be on your computer per se. Okay, um, and, and the reason for that is if you want to stay completely anonymous and have nobody knowing that you're using Tor, you really don't want it on there. I would also encourage you if you do download Tor to come down here and check out some articles. I come about once a week on here and just check everything out to see if there's any updates and whatnot that for some reason I haven't gotten yet. So, all right, there's a blog, there's press documentation about it, about Tor, a way to contact them if you have any issues. Now, you can also get involved by donating, being part of their mailing list, uh, mirrors to the site, hidden services, and translations but you can also come on here and you can volunteer to be an exit relay you can volunteer to be a bridge the problem with being an exit relay is this if somebody looks up something messed up or very illegal and they're using your IP as the exit relay and you have no way to prove it you can actually get in a lot of trouble and that being said please like read everything before you choose to do it it really is that simple um, taking a few seconds to read over everything if you're going to do it either one will really help you it also can take up a lot of bandwidth and a lot of internet usage depending on what you're doing so that's that there so we're gonna go ahead and shut this down okay now that I've shut off Google Chrome I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this real quick. I went ahead and took these off my thumb drive and just put it on my computer real quick. Then I'll be deleting them here, here after I'm done. But All right, so you got one of two things here that you can use to open Tor. You can just click on this and it opens right up. Or you can click on this and it will bring up this. And then you just go to Start Tor Browser. It's a little bit longer of a way around, but whatever. It still works. I mean... And on the left up here, you will see something come up in a minute. It'll be a little like dialog box or whatever that tells you how fast Tor is loading. There you go. Boom. I have like really good high speed internet where I live. All right. So is what you want to do. You can pull it like this a little bit. Okay. But is what you don't want to do is maximize it to full screen. If you maximize it to full screen, it's not like saying like you're going to give away your, your ID automatically, but it does tell the websites that you visit the size screen that you're using. 
So let's say like you have a 15 inch screen. Well, it's going to tell them, okay, a 15 inch screen. And they can put two together, you know, that together with a few other things and figure out who you are, thus losing your anonymity. Now, over here, you'll see the little S with the red on it. That's because I have blocked everything globally. And if you're not blocked globally, if you allow everything globally, as it says, dangerous, you know. Um, yeah, you just, you don't want to allow everything. But you can always go to your options, click that, boom, you're good to go. And just block everything having to do with any kind of scripts. I normally turn everything off. All right, so now, Tor has a new feature since the last time I actually showed it, though. So you go to Tor Network Settings, okay? And this right here, well, this right here isn't the new part. There's another part that's actually new. But, yeah. But this actually lets them know if you have some kind of, like, internet service provider that blocks Tor. And is what they'll do. They'll help you set up a bridge so that way you can get around it. Um, right there, local proxy. This computer goes through a firewall that only allows connections to certain ports, and then you have to enter the ports. So there you go. And right here, Tor log to clipboard is basically a number uh, different kinds of bridges that you can use to access Tor if you can't get on. There we go, privacy settings. Okay, so as you can see here, this right here is a new feature with Tor. It actually lets you set your privacy settings. So as you can see, I've restricted everything, got it as high as can be, and then you just click OK. I would suggest you do the same, but that is up to you. All right, so let's say like you're going on here to look at some deep websites or whatever, and we'll put it in the search engine, Amaya.fee. And then we just wait on it to come up. Boom. All right, so we type in like funny. And you get whatever, boom. All you got to do is just click one, and that actually adds an extra proxy off of this site. So instead of a few, see, you can look right here, boom. It shows like, okay, that right there is my computer. Then it goes to this computer, then that computer, then that computer, and then it goes out. So technically, I'm showing up from the Netherlands whenever it goes out. So let's say, because I'll show off this website real quick. Um, let's say I don't want to search word by word. I just want to see what these guys have. And it is a big list, so it takes a minute sometimes for it to come up. But let's see here. We want to hit Onion Directory. Okay, so on this one here, it actually shows the list of everything. And the good thing about this, I mean, it does show which ones are scams, which ones aren't, and whatnot. Um, and talks about a little bit of what they are in descriptions. Unfortunately, not all of them have descriptions, and some of them you'll just be blind clicking. So, if you're not used to Tor, I would say just use the search engine and search it that way. Do it the long way and just put in some random words or whatever you're looking for. But as always, anything you click or anything you choose to do on Tor, well, let's just say it's your responsibility. So I'm not going to be responsible for anybody's crap. But yeah, um, all right. So pretty much, though, that's it for that. Now, whenever you're getting ready to log out, you want to change your circuit. And then you want to click New Identity. You hit yes. Now, the reason for this is because, and it will come back up. There you go. And then you can exit it just like so. Now, the reason for this is, is because until you do that, any authorities, um, anybody really that knows anything about a computer can bring up your history and as long as that's there, they can see what you downloaded off of what IP, etc. And then they can look that IP up and see what that IP has been. And you will get blamed for whatever IP you are using at that time. So, yeah, so that's pretty much the reasoning behind that. Because I know a few people ask me, well, why do you have to get a new Onion address? And I just, 
I change out everything before I close it out. It's really that simple. And then I pull out the thumb drive and we're good to go. So once again, a few key points. Make sure your, your Google Chrome's off. Make sure your Internet Explorer or the new one is off. Any Anything beyond Tor, make sure it's off. Make sure everything's shut down globally. Make sure you got the highest security. And, um, yeah, that's just don't download anything unless if you know what it is. And 90% of the time, you really don't know what it is. So if you download stuff, you're taking the risk of getting hacked or getting a really messed up stupid file that, well... Depends on how how you feel, how tech savvy you are and whatnot. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And um, yeah, guys, I'm going to open back up the comments and hope it doesn't get too much hate. And as long as it doesn't, I can keep them open. If it does, I have to shut them off again. But we'll just have to see. I don't want to lose another video because of people's hateful comments because not enough people are reporting them. So, yeah. So, I would hate for you guys to put up comments and then I have to shut it off. So, that's pretty much it, guys. And as always, just keep watching and I will put up some more stuff. Like I said, I'm going to start doing things a little more tech stuff. I'm going to hopefully start showing UFO stuff and whatnot and more so that's it thanks so much for watching peace out mahalo and you guys have a great day